this opportunity, I stand to support the Constitution Amendment Bill 2018. Mr. Speaker, I'm a bit worried about the sincerity of this House. We keep talking about let's leave a legacy. Let us pass this right that the women were given by the 2010 Constitution. It is a right. We've implemented everything in the Constitution. Devolution, which costs a fortune. We've implemented it. Now we talk about Punda Mechoka. The donkeys are tired. But when we look at our country and we look at what Parliament costs, and I think we need to say this and be bold about saying this, the two Houses of Parliament cost only 1.5% of the entire national budget of three trillion. So Parliament is not the reason that the donkey is tired. The donkey is tired because of corruption. In fact, the donkey is dying because of corruption. The two-thirds gender bill is not about women. But for right now, women are the ones who are marginalized in this house. We need to have affirmative, we needed to have affirmative action. And let me just talk about Nairobi. Nairobi has 17 constituencies. Of the 17 constituencies, had we not had affirmative action, what would have happened is that we would have only had today one member of parliament who's a woman in a constituency called Kasarani, Honorable Masi Gakuya. There would have been 16 men representing the remaining constituencies. Masi Gakuya would not be able to go to any other constituency to address the issues of women because she's confined to Kasarani. So we have the affirmative seat of county woman rep. So I, as a woman representative, and all my women reps all over the country, are able to go to the various constituencies. We know that the single county MPs are only 23. We know that the governors are only three. Three, less than 10%. We should be ashamed of ourselves that we're sitting here asking to be lobbied. Talk to me nicely. Tell me what, why you want this seat. Why should the women, why should the women go for nomination and not fight it like you did? Uh, for me, the men in this room are not serious. They should be serious to respect the rule of law. What we are saying here is that this is the same constitution that has brought you into this house. Now I want to talk to the Kenyans out there. The reason why we women cannot serve you, especially the women rep, the 47 women rep, who are the majority and we are being judged very harshly, the reason why we cannot serve you as well as we do is because every time we ask for money to serve you well, the men who are the majority deny us that money. In the last, in the last, the last time we were doing the budget, we were given 500,000. We have 6.5 million shillings per constituency when a male member of parliament has 100 million. And you expect me to be judged the same. So I'm asking us, please, let us actually understand that this is in our constitution and if you fail to pass it i pray that the judiciary which is the third arm of government sends us all home because we have been given enough time we're in contempt of court right now as we speak in 2016 we were asked for one more year to implement and operationalize the two-thirds gender 2017 we should have done it we are now in 2018 and we are still asking massagers, talk to us nicely, tell us why we need you. You need to pass the two-thirds gender bill because it is in the constitution. We passed it and now you're saying it is going to be very expensive to have the 22 women in National Assembly or to have the two women in Senate. It will cost only 280 million. What will be more expensive is the referendum that you want to remove the women. Because we know that that is the agenda of the majority of the men. But we cannot run this country without women. Because I'm saying to the president, and all the party leaders who've gone on TV and said we support this, why haven't you all called PGs? Why haven't you whipped the members? You whip the members when you want anything passed. But when it comes to the women, President Uhuru Kenyatta was the first one to go and sign he for she. Let him actually do what he needs to do to pass this bill. This is becoming a joke. Or 